Hey, we got some new shows coming. We going to Spokane, San Antonio, Arlington, Dallas, Houston, Bakersfield, California, Austin, Oklahoma City. Go to HarshTwinsTour.com for tickets. Title of this email. Off me. This Harsh Twins TV? This ass Harsh Twins. Why are you cursing? It's for kids over here. I'm going to start over. Title of this email. Each relationship I have ever had has ended because I'm apparently too small. Size don't matter. Think so? No, uh, I don't, but that's what stupid women try to. That's what people say to try to make you feel better. Yeah. You you know what you gotta do, man? You just gotta find somebody that's compatible with you. Like a real tiny girl. With a small vagina. Not one of them big gaping vaginas, you know? Yeah, there's some girls out there, you go in, whoa! Yeah, it's you, sucking your nuts. It's like a black hole. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want a small vagina. Yeah. I'm 19 years old, suffering from depression. All right, let's go easy on this. I don't want to say anything to set you off. You're suffering from depression because it's small pee pee? What if you had like two inches? He's got two inches. I ain't say all that. I'm just saying. You can get implants nowadays. They can make you big, man. It's going to cost you. I say, I want this type of cock. I want the big fat head on hey, it. Hey, Kim, come on. This is ass horse wins. Cock is a, is a curse bird? No, I don't think so, but. It's I've, a chicken. Yeah, it's a chicken. Cock fighting. Yeah, cock fighting. I've had two sexual encounters in my life, and I'm so confused because the day after, when we go to our own house, I get a phone call telling me that they don't want to see me again because of my size. The first girl was nice about it, but the second one, damn, she was straight evil. She said she can't be in a relationship anymore and never will be because my penis is far too small. She then asked how big it is, and I said like four and a half. Probably more like four, huh? No, it's probably like two. You can do something with four inches. You think something. so? You can do something. I mean, four inches? Four inches? You can do something. Man, four inches. I mean, you, four inches. Shaft four inches, then you got the head. No. Five inches. No. Head to shaft, base. Four inches we talking. All you can do with that is hope this works. Put on the back, take her knees, and put her behind her ears, and you just sledgehammer. Yeah, you can't do all that. They're going to get tired of that. They want some dog, get some sideways action. They ain't going to feel nothing. Man, you need to go get some cosmetic surgery, man. Get an extension. Hold on. You're going you gonna to have to, man. She said she can't be in a relationship anymore and never will be because my penis is far too small. She then asked how big it is, and I said like four and a half, and she then compared me to her, all her exes and her toys. She then had the courage to tell me that I would never find anyone who will like me because of it and that if I'm even lucky enough to get a date. Jesus. She then went on again to suggest I turn gay. Wow. I think gay, what's, what being gay got to do with it? Yeah. Oh, she's saying he gets taken in the, Yeah. Yeah, he ain't giving, he gets taken. Yeah, she is evil, man. She cold-blooded too, man. I'm just so confused, depressed, and scared that it's going to happen again to me again. Do you think she was... Man, I've had sex with women. They, I didn't have enough. Mm -hmm. Right? I've had sex with women. Oh, my God. You're killing me. Yeah. You know what your problem is? You ran into a whore. Two of them. No, you ran into huge vaginas. Some women ain't... When them, you probably was dating them girls with them birth-bearing hips. Birth bearing hips. Yeah, them big old hips. These just pop out babies. Yeah. Got one of them big old vaginas. If you need a small petite girl, man. Something around the size of about four foot two, sixty pounds. That's a damn elf. It's a kid. <laughs> you no, need something around four eleven, five feet. No, that's too tall for him. He's gotta get something around. Hey Kevin, I've been with tall women. I can stick the head in a couple inches of shaft. You're killing me. It's because it's small. They got a small vagina. That's what it is, man. 
Don't give up hope, man. I would say after your next 10 dates, 10 dates of you go deep inside yeah. and with your nuts hanging out and it yeah. don't work out, yeah. then you can always cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Man, they you, can give you about they can give you 10 inches. They give you 10 inches. Four inches round. You're gonna have big scars on the side of it. You're gonna look like they ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna get that. They ain't gonna see that. You're gonna be Frankencock. Yeah. You get you're gonna have to get an extension, man. If it's that important to you. But you need to test out other women. I'm telling you. Go for some small petite women. Yeah, before you go. Don't give up hope. Go to hogstwins.tv. Yeah. It's only two ninety nine a month. You still have money for that transplant. <laughs> it's damn near free. Not transplant implants. Title of this email, Another Guy Kissed My Girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend have been dating for two years now. That's a lot of time. Two years. Two years. It's 24 months at least. That's a whole lot of time. We've had a pretty steady relationship. Man, get the fuck off me. We've had a pretty steady relationship these two years and the sex life has been fantastic. Last month, she had to move to Ohio for a while because of college. Relationship over! (laughs) How long is Ohio from there? He didn't say where he lives at. Oh, he sent a picture, huh? She she stays on... We'll get the picture at the end. She stays on campus and has already made a lot of friends that are guys and girls. Yeah. That's how students relieve their stress. Nut busting. <laughs> some balls deep action. Some hair pulling, some choking, some rough sex. Yeah. To reset your energy levels so you can study harder. Yesterday she called me on the phone and told me one of her best friends named Jason was comforting her because she was having a tough day. Oh, boo-hoo, you cry. She went crying to the dude, I'm having a tough day. Man, why y'all even still together, man? These things do not work out. I hope you got your side check. She said she was, okay, because she was having a tough day. She said she was looking at her phone (laughs) when he just out of the blue picked her head up and kissed her. So she say. Every time I've kissed somebody, it's been some tension build up. Yeah, it's, I got acknowledged. Hey, go ahead.